This thing is disgusting. It's covered in tons of dog hair, enough to fill an oh, entire mattress full. It smells horrible. It's got nicotine tar, cigarette ash, grease, grime, oil everywhere. We're gonna have to tear this thing completely apart to clean it up, but that's what this channel's about. So if you are new, hit that subscribe button so every single week you can see these nasty cars getting cleaned and have the urge to puke in your mouth every time you watch. You need to, you need to do it. Let's get started. All right, let's see what we found underneath here. We got some cups. Doesn't even squish. Ooh, 10 millimeter? What the hell yeah. Some snap-on dikes. So as I'm pulling this thing apart, I'm, it, the smell in this thing was so, so strong of herb. That's a better way to say it so that way I don't get flagged for this video. But it was literally everywhere and it took forever to get out. But once I started using the OxyClean and all my chemicals and sprays, I was able to remove it all and it definitely did not smell like it at the end, which you guys will see how well this thing turned out. But the overall detail took over eight hours to complete because this car was so bad. And I think that with the carpet larva, the, just everything, this was the worst car I have ever done by far. Comment below if you agree. Now when it comes to getting dog hair or pet hair out of carpets, it can be somewhat tedious depending on how much like, you know, soot or, you know, liquids are in the floors. But there's a trick that I used on the seats later on in this video that I want to share with you guys. So stick around to watch that because using the foxtail pet hair brush, which is my own personal pet hair brush or any pet hair brush for that matter, it is a game changer and it is something that I just learned how to do. I saw it on TikTok. It works incredibly well, so stick around to the end to find out what that trick that trick was. In the heat of the summer night. 
Now for the seeds and the carpets, I'm using a combination of uh, Flex Ice and uh, Bio Break, which I have listed down below. You can pick up on Amazon. And then also a scoop of OxyClean that I spray onto the seats and then I agitate with my drill brushes. For these seats, the steam cleaner was priceless because of the amount of grease, it helps kind of loosen it up even more than just the extractor can and all the, you know, the pre-soak formula that I'm using. Um, it helps with loosening it up so that way when the extractor does extract it with the hot water, it pulls it all out and makes the seats look like new again. Yeah, this little armrest right here, you couldn't even tell it was fabric, just like the uh, center console armrest as well. They literally were covered with so much grease that it looked like plastic. Um, but with all-purpose cleaner and the steam cleaner, that was the only way to remove this completely and then using a microfiber towel to wipe it up. Okay, before everyone freaks out, 
there was several components in this car that were missing. The headliner was missing. The, a lot of the panels on the roof were missing. Um, this airbag has a crack in it and I can tell that it was replaced and it was painted because as I started to scrub it with the steam cleaner and all-purpose cleaner, the paint literally just melted off, but the steering wheel body itself did not. So this was replaced at some point and this is kind of what you're seeing here is that paint being essentially removed um, to show that it was a tan airbag before it was painted by whoever owned this uh, wonderful treasure. Okay, so here's the trick that I talked about earlier. Take glass cleaner and spray it on your carpet or fabric that you're trying to remove dog hair from, and then use your pet hair brush to agitate it, to kind of lift it from the fibers themselves, and then use your vacuum to suck it up. And the main reason why glass cleaner works is it helps remove any of the static charge in the seat and make those, those dog hairs or pet hairs pretty much just pull to the surface. So then vacuuming is super, super simple. Um, yeah, this, this is something that I've just learned recently and it helps a ton.
bom dia, mais um dia maravilhoso e nessa terra. Bom dia. Now usually extractions take the longest amount of time, but this center console, just this little fabric piece, to get this grease removed with a steam cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, drill brush, everything I hit this thing with, I was able to get most of the grease out. There is a little bit left, but that's also because it's kind of worn down just from whoever's arm was on this thing, just covering this thing in grease for years. I mean, this car had over 130,000 miles on it, so um, it definitely took a beating. Um, but yeah, that, that little piece there took longer than extracting a single seat. Now, as you're watching these after shots, I do want to say that there are several mistakes and different things that most people make when they detail vehicles. And it's something that I've learned over time while detailing these crazy, crazy cars and just detailing for customers. So if you want to learn more, definitely click this video on screen. It'll help you out with doing it as a side hustle or if you're a professional, definitely tips and tricks that you need to know. So click right here. <laughs> 